So today I'm going to be filming, or attempting to film, a very highly requested video sharing with you guys my current skincare and makeup routine. The reason why I'm saying attempting is because I am one week postpartum. I had my baby boy last week. His name is Leo Jagger and he is sleeping right next to me in his Moses basket like a little angel. I'm going to take a video of him real quick so you guys can see how adorable and peaceful Peaceful he is in just a second and my daughter she is with her grandma all day today so theoretically should be able to do this hold on let me grab my phone just wanted to show you guys how sweet he looks right now <laughs> my daughter used to sleep exactly like this with her hands up by her face in the same Moses basket three years ago with the snuggle me organic mattress so freaking cute. Okay, so I thought that I would share with you guys what I have been doing to keep my skin looking hydrated and glowy. Right now, my skin doesn't look that great because I am exhausted, beyond exhausted. If you are a new mama and a nursing mama, you know exactly what I mean. So my skin needs all the TLC it can get right now. I also wanted to quickly mention a couple of things that I do outside of my skincare and makeup routine that I personally feel make a tremendous difference in how my skin looks and feels. The first thing being, you guys know that I've mentioned this in like so many videos, is sleeping on a specific pillow that encourages you to sleep in such a way that minimizes the amount of friction that you put on your face. I personally love and use the Omnia Silk Pillow from Sleep and Glow. I swear by it and I've been using it for years. I am a stomach and side sleeper so this really helps me put my face in the right position. It's designed in such a way that helps minimize the amount of contact and pressure that you put on your pillow. Conventional pillows just smush your skin and cause things such as premature aging like fine lines and wrinkles which is something that I would like to try to avoid and sleeping on this pillow has really helped me kind of keep my skin looking more youthful and smooth and has definitely helped me prevent more fine lines and wrinkles in my opinion since I switched over to this pillow. I also really love using the silk pillowcase with the Omnia pillow because it doesn't absorb my skincare products the way that a regular cotton pillowcase would so when I go to sleep at night and I apply my skincare to my skin I can feel confident that it's still doing what it's supposed to do instead of getting absorbed into my pillowcase and then leaving me with no benefits when I wake up in the morning so I will leave all the information about this incredible pillow in my description box down below I also have a discount code with them and I also just realized that I'm wearing a couple of other sleep and glow products that I have been obsessed with recently such as this silk robe which is so amazing right now because when I'm pregnant and when I'm breastfeeding, I overheat. I'm constantly sweating wherever I go. So this has been so nice because it's super lightweight. It's short sleeves. I love this color. And if I need to nurse, it's just like super easy access to get in and out. So this is what I've been wearing around the house over the last couple of days and I love it so much. And I also wear my Sleep and Glow Silk scrunchies like literally every day. This is not technically a skincare thing. This is more of a hair care thing, but I swear by silk scrunchies because they're the most gentle on your hair. They prevent breakage. They also don't soak up all of the amazing hair care products you might put in your your hair like a regular elastic would and since I started using a silk scrunchie like this I've noticed such a huge difference in the overall health of my hair so without going on too much everything that I just mentioned will be linked down below and now I'm gonna show you guys what I do to prep my skin for makeup I like to do a really really minimal makeup routine the least products for me the better especially being new mom of two babies I have very very limited time and I just want to look fresh and clean and put together really really quickly so the first thing that I usually do is cleanse my skin and I do that first thing in the morning and I've already done that step and then I usually go in with a toner I want to share with you guys the toner that I've been using recently I already toned my face so I'm not gonna do it again but I just wanted to share with you that this is the toner that I discovered recently thanks to my friend Sifat on Instagram I'm gonna share her 
Instagram on the screen here so you can follow her. This smells like you're putting chlorinated pool water on your face, but I have noticed such a huge difference since I started using this and it's only been like a couple of weeks. It just evens everything out. It makes your skin feel very hydrated. It looks glowy. And if you have any blemishes or spots on your skin or pigmentation, it helps reduce inflammation and kind of like works overnight to make it disappear. It, I don't know, for me, this is just like magic water in a bottle and I'm so happy that Safat introduced me to this. And again, I will link it down below if you guys wanted to check it out. Okay, so now that I am not pregnant anymore, I recently started testing out some new skincare products. Full disclosure, I got these sent to me from Vegamore. They also sent me a bunch of hair care stuff that I have been testing out. So what I'm gonna do is apply this lash growth serum to my lash line. So this is like the first thing that I do in terms of like applying actual skincare. And they also sent me their brow serum. I'm gonna apply it to my brows. So I just started using these last week after I gave birth. <laughs> I was super excited to try them out. So I haven't seen a difference yet, but if I do, I'll be sure to let you guys know and tell you what I think about them. Okay, so since my skin is feeling a little bit drier and more tired than normal, I'm gonna use this Hyaluronic Acid Serum by Pharmacy. I just put one pump on my hand like that. And this helped pump up the skin makes it look more hydrated and it sits beautifully under my moisturizer and just makes everything look a little bit more alive <laughs> so i need that right now so i usually bring down any leftover product on my hands down to my neck and to my chest when you're older you don't want to skip those parts trust me the next thing i'm going to apply is a moisturizer I've really been enjoying this one lately by Salt and Stone. Just gonna put a little bit on the palm of my hand and massage that in with my hands. I love using my hands for everything, for my skincare, for my makeup. I use very minimal brushes and I don't use a beauty blender. I know that a lot of people swear by using like some kind of a makeup sponge or makeup brushes when they do their makeup. I don't know, I don't have time for that. <laughs> I really don't. I used to use all of these beauty tools back in the day when I started this channel, but now that I'm a mom of two babies, I just don't have time. Okay, now this is a step that I never ever skip. Sometimes I just use this alone and nothing else. Not specifically this, but a facial oil in general. I have several different facial oils that I kind of rotate between. This one I've really been loving recently by Biosense. It's the Squalene Vitamin C Rose Oil. And I love vitamin C because it helps reduce pigmentation, helps even out the skin. So I'm just going to warm that up in the palms of my hands and just kind of put it all over. I even like to put it under my eyes, like on the days when I just don't want to be bothered with putting on under eye cream, just using your fingertips to warm up your moisturizer and your oil and just putting it underneath can do the exact same job. I like to concentrate most of the oil around my jawline and under my cheekbones. And the reason for that is because I like to go in with my Gua Sha facial massaging tool to help drain any like fluids around this area and it really chisels out your jawline. I've been doing this for years and I swear by it. And I got mine on Amazon. It's really inexpensive and it really makes the world of a difference. So any oil that's left over, I usually just massage it into my hands and the ends of my hair. Just keeps everything nice and moisturized. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with my Gua Sha and I usually start under my cheekbones like this and I drain upwards towards my ear and my hairline. And then I take this curved part and I chisel out my jaw. And again, I'm going in an upwards direction to drain the fluid up and away from my face. And then I just do the same thing on the other side. I don't know if you can see the difference. This side is a lot more like lifted and chiseled. 
This also helps kind of push any skincare products that you put on your skin more deeply so they can better penetrate and do their work much better. There's so many benefits of using a gua sha. I can probably make a whole video about this. So if you haven't tried this yet, this is like one of my favorite, if not my ultimate favorite beauty tool. Okay, so I'm feeling my under eyes and because I'm sleep deprived, I feel like they're drier than normal. So I think I'm gonna add a little bit of a under eye cream and also to my eyelids because my eyelids feel really dry too. So I've mentioned this eye cream a few times on my channel. It's pricey, but there's like literally nothing better. You can see I need a I can't believe he didn't wake up from that. Wow, he's still sleeping. <laughs> okay, yeah, as you can see, I need another one. I've pretty much used all of this up, but a little bit goes a long way. So you don't need a lot and it makes such a big difference. I got so lucky with <laughs> my son. He is like such a good sleeper. If that happened and my daughter was sleeping, it'd be game over. This video would not be happening. <laughs> So I'm just gonna put on my eyelids as well. Feeling really dry and tired. So hopefully this will help. Okay, so that's it for skincare. Now that my skin is prepped, I'm gonna go in with a very light coverage, probably foundation today. I feel like I need foundation. I look very, very tired. So for foundation, this is like a very kind of light, weight light coverage foundation from Ilya. I love this and a little bit goes a long way. It just like evens everything out, looks super glowy and dewy and it's not gonna cake up. You can layer other makeup on top of it really beautifully and it still allows your real skin to show through, which is so, so important for me when I'm using any type of face products. I don't want to paint over my skin completely and cover up all the imperfections because that just does not look good in real life. So it might look good on camera, but in real life, that's just not the look I'm going for. And I'm gonna use a pump of this Sage Star Glow in my foundation. I always use this. I sometimes use this on its own. It just has such a dewy, glowy finish. So I kind of just like mix it in with my foundation. One pump of the Say and one pump of the Ilia. I'm just gonna mix it together. Again, I'm gonna go in with my hands. I'm focusing the products on the lower half of my face because my bangs kind of like cover up my forehead anyway. And I don't like getting makeup or anything on my bangs. It's annoying. <laughs> I feel like using your fingers, you can also get into the small crevices and under your eye area much more beautifully. And it helps the product melt into your skin much better. That's just my opinion. <laughs> Okay, so if you look at my skin, you can still see all of my imperfections. It's just a lot more even, but I love how it still looks super natural. Okay, so now I'm going to go in with my RMS Beauty Uncover Up Concealer. I have the shade 22.5. I should probably tell you the shade of my foundation. So the foundation I use is SF6 Chios, and this is what I use just to gently cover up any spots that I have. I don't really have that many spots, to be honest. Whatever I do have, I usually get on my chin. That's usually hormonal. And then I just go in the corner of my eye, under my eye, outer corner of my eye, and eyelid. And this is also like a super lightweight concealer. So you're still gonna see your natural skin through it, which Again, I prefer over a full coverage concealer. And I also find that it wears a lot better because it's more lightweight. It doesn't crease, especially if you set it. I usually don't set my makeup because I just feel like it just looks more natural when you don't do that. And I don't have a problem with creasing when I use this, so it's not necessary. I have like a little spot in between my eyebrows that I got during pregnancy and I don't know what it is, but it's not going away. So I'm gonna try to cover that up a little bit. Okay, so now that I've blended all of that in with my fingers, you can see how just natural everything looks. My skin is still showing through, but it just looks a lot more even and alive and it's still like glowy and dewy. So 
yeah, that's been my favorite combo for like last two years, I wanna say. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with a little bit of bronzer just to warm up my face. This is the Sun Melt by Say in medium bronze. And I'm gonna use this on a brush. This is a Luxie 522 tapered highlighter brush, but I like to use this under my cheekbones because it just fits like really nicely underneath there. And I kind of just like blot it like this. I used to blend it like this and I noticed that just made things look kind of uneven. So now I just blot this and then I go around the hairline like this and a little bit on the forehead. Not that I need it because again, my bang is kind of covered up now. But I love using cream products because it still kind of keeps your skin looking healthy and dewy. I feel like a lot of powder products create a matte finish and it doesn't look as natural as I would like. So there's this trend now called clean makeup. So basically what it is, is a makeup look that looks dewy and hydrated and glowy. So I guess this makeup is really on trend, but I've been doing this for the last few years. It is a very dewy, glowy, hydrated look. And I like that it's a very simple routine. Okay, next I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. This is the Rose Ink Lip and Cheek Color in Ophelia. And I'm using this crown brush. I don't remember what it's called, but <laughs> if I can find it, I'll link it down below. And I do the same thing with this kind of a brush. Kind of just like tap it on my skin instead of rubbing it in. And I concentrate it on the apples of the cheeks and kind of bring it out and up towards my hairline. And this is also a very beautiful cream product. And I love this shade. It's like very natural. I also like to take a little bit of blush over the top of my nose. I feel like when you're out in the sun, when you have a little bit of a blush to you, you get a little bit around your nose too. Kind of like blends everything together. Okay, so then after I do my bronzer and blush, I go in with a big blending brush. This is a Morphe M462. It's been a while since <laughs> I did a makeup video, so I don't remember the names of all of these brushes. I literally use the same three brushes to do my makeup every time, and I've been doing this for the last few years, basically since becoming a mom. Okay, next I'm going to do my eyebrows. So I've really been loving this Mineral Fusion eyebrow pencil. I have the shade medium brown, just like one of those retractable ones with a little eyebrow brush on the other side. And I feel like this color goes nicely with my hair color. So all I'm gonna do is just create like little hair like strokes just to even them out a little bit. Okay, so now that I've filled them in, I'm going to set them. This is the Rose Ink Eyebrow Gel. I really love this one. It's very lightweight, but it has a lot of really good skincare. I shouldn't say skincare, I should say eyebrow hair. Are you waking up, little man? No, you went back to sleep. <laughs> so it has a lot of amazing ingredients for your eyebrows. So it helps them stay healthy, helps them grow, so they're nice and full. I try to use as many clean, non-toxic beauty products as I can. It's not always possible, but that's my goal. To find the best clean beauty and share it with you guys. Okay, for mascara, I'm going to use the Ilia Limitless Lash Mascara. I've been using this for the last couple of years as well, and I really, really like it. I wish they made this in brown. I prefer a brown mascara because it's more soft, but if you are looking for a really, really good, clean, non-toxic mascara, this is it. Okay, so I always 
get mascara on my eyelids when I apply my mascara. The key is not to touch it right away. You wanna let it dry completely and then I'll show you how to remove it. In the meantime, what I like to do is just add my uh, little glowy highlighter and finish off my lips and then I will show you how I remove the mascara. So for my glow, I'm gonna use the RMS Beauty Living Luminizer. I love this for every day. It's just so pretty. It looks so natural. Literally looks like you're lit from within. So I just put this on my cheekbones, on the bridge of my nose, and a little on my cupid's bow. Okay, so this is a lip combo I usually have in like 90% of my YouTube videos that I've been filming recently and you guys ask about this combo a lot. So make a note of it. <laughs> this is the Mineral Fusion Lip Pencil in Elegant. I've been wearing this for years and years and years. You guys ask me about this all the time. It literally goes with like almost every single lip shade that I own. And then on top of that, I like to put the Tower 28 Lip Gloss in the shade coconut. I just use it to outline the lips and just even them out a little bit and it makes them look naturally bigger and more even. And then the lip gloss is like the perfect complement and just makes them look more juicy. Okay, now I'm gonna show you guys how I remove the mascara from the eyelids. So like I said, you wanna wait until the mascara is completely dry and then go in with a clean spoolie and it's literally just gonna flake off. So easy. And you're not smearing it anywhere. So don't panic. If you get it on your eyelids, just be patient, wait a minute or two and then just take it off with a spoolie. Okay, done. So I don't set it with anything. I don't put like a finishing spray. You could do that if you want, but this is basically the base of what I do for whenever I'm going out or I'm filming a YouTube video. And the only thing that I will switch up in this routine is maybe my lip color, put some eyeshadow on my eyes, but everything else is exactly the same. So everything that I talked about in this video will be linked in my description box below. So feel free to check it out. Follow me over on Instagram if you want to stay up to date and see more of my mom life because that's where all of the motherhood stuff goes. And yeah, I wanna thank you guys again so much for watching and hanging out with me and bearing with me as I navigate motherhood with two babies at home. As always, I wanna thank you guys so much for watching and hanging out with me and I will see you in my next one.